Prehistoric Planet is a paleontology documentary series currently available to stream on Apple TV+. It was produced by the BBC with John Favreau acting as showrunner and is narrated by Sir David Attenborough. One episode was released per day from the 23rd to the 27th of May 2022. As it just came out, this video will be spoiler free and I don't fancy waiting for the 20 year anniversary to review this one as I normally would. It is, in my opinion, the greatest paleontology documentary in well over a decade. Not since Walking with Dinosaurs in 1999 have dinosaurs felt so truly alive and believable despite being computer generated. The visual effects were done by MPC and to say they did a good job would be the understatement of the century. Every single creature is so beautifully textured and composited over stunning real life backdrops. They are fluently animated and their behavior is so believable. I wouldn't be surprised if what we were seeing were actual living dinosaurs. The series consists of five episodes, each focusing on multiple different ecosystems of the late Cretaceous period 66 million years ago, united by a common theme. As opposed to the more complex single narratives per episode of say Walking with Dinosaurs, Prehistoric Planet's structure is more reminiscent of the multiple simpler stories showcased in the Planet Earth series. Another way it differs from documentaries like Walking with Dinosaurs and When Dinosaurs Roamed America is that it focuses solely on one time period, rather than telling the entire story of the Mesozoic era. Whilst I personally like the style of those documentaries more, that's simply my preference as I don't think one approach is better than the other. Regardless, I'm going to give a brief overview of each episode along with my own personal thoughts. The first episode, Kos, is actually the least dinosaur-centric episode of the lot. A bold way to start, I must say. As such, the main stars are in fact the marine reptiles like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs, as well as numerous flying pterosaurs. This episode has a lot of interesting and sometimes unexpected behavior and aspects of ecology on display and I think it's a fantastic and unique way to start the series. The second episode, Desert, is my personal favorite. Practically every single aspect of this episode is incredible in my eyes. The visuals, the stories, and the behaviors exhibited by the animals adapted to the harsh, arid conditions of deserts. Everything here is simply breathtaking for me. The third episode, Freshwater is one of the weaker episodes in my opinion, but still wonderful on the whole. This one feels a little scatterbrained and disjointed compared to the other episodes, mainly due to some segments only being very loosely related to freshwater environments. Another issue is that, in general, this episode is quite vague in regards to its geographical locations, as well as the kinds of animals portrayed. Speaking of, I feel some opportunities were missed in showcasing other Mesozoic animals adapted to freshwater environments. The pacing also feels a little off to me. Some parts feel slightly rushed and others are maybe too long. What is here though is still superb for all the previously established reasons. It's just not as strong as some of the other episodes overall in my opinion. The fourth episode, Ice World, is the weakest of the lot in my eyes. Keep in mind though that this series' standards are so astronomically high that this statement really doesn't mean much. That being said, this episode shares many of the same flaws as the previous one. It's quite vague about its creatures and locations at times, and the pacing feels a little off. The ending especially feels a bit rushed story-wise. However, an issue that Freshwater had that this episode does not suffer from is that every segment is clearly themed around animals surviving in polar climates. Despite that, the stories in this episode were the least interesting to me. Even my favorite parts weren't quite as good as some scenes from other episodes. This one is the least good, but still a very enjoyable watch. 
the fifth and final episode, Forest, is roughly on par with the first two for me. It has a strong and consistent theme, a mix of obscure species many have probably never heard of, as well as some familiar favourites partaking in some unfamiliar, yet totally believable behaviours. I do wish the ending segment was a little bit longer, but the good stuff in this episode is amazing. Lastly, the score was composed by Hans Zimmer, Anze Rosman, and Kara Talve. Sorry, I probably completely mispronounced those last two. Whilst the music is beautifully composed, I didn't find any of the tracks that memorable. This might change with rewatches over time, however. To wrap it all up, if you're a paleontology enthusiast, trust me, this is the show you have been waiting for. It is scientifically accurate, beautiful to look at, and so believable, there are times where I have to pick my jaw up off the ground. Do yourself a favour and watch this show. If you're put off by the prospect of having to subscribe to the Apple TV Plus streaming service, don't be. It has a free 7 day trial that you can cancel at any time. This is the best dino doc in years and you can watch it for free. Out of the 5 episodes, I thought 2 of them were great and the other 3 were amazing. If you even remotely like prehistoric life, you owe it to yourself to check this show out. Prehistoric Planet is simply incredible and a worthy successor to Walking with Dinosaurs. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye now.